Come on in, everybody. Blessed day, blessed morning, blessed start of the day. God bless all of you. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost, I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord. I pray that you all slept well, you are doing well, you all wake up well, well, and that God has been faithful, gracious, and good to you and your family. Me, I am well. I thank the God of Abraham. Let's just thank him. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning, Lord. I give you all the honor and the glory. I praise you and I worship your name. I magnify you and I lift you. I thank you for who you are and for all you do. I thank you for your grace, Lord, for your mercy, your goodness and your kindness. I thank you for your protection and preservation. I thank you that today we are here again, Lord, that you won the battles and the victory throughout the whole entire night. While we were sleeping, only you know, Father my God, exactly what you fight for us and how you fight for us with all the evil powers and destruction and darkness that the enemy, the devil, sends for us in all evil hours and times. Father, I thank you. I bless your name for protecting our children, Lord, protecting our homes, Lord, guiding us, watching over us, keeping us in peace, providing and sustaining us this day, Lord. We thank you so much. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Father, we shall be glad, we shall celebrate, and we shall rejoice and be thankful in your name, in your word, and in your Holy Spirit, in your kingdom, and in your righteousness, in the covenant of Jesus Christ, who was born from Mary the Virgin and came here on the earth, that for God so loved the whole entire world and everything in it, for the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, and whosoever believes in him. So, Father, my God, we thank you for the covenant of Jesus that he died on the cross for our sins, that all of us, Lord, who were once lost, have found redemption, purification, sanctification, and life in you and through you. So this day we bless your name. We give you all the glory and the honor. Before we start anything, Lord, or we think or do anything that we want to do of this day, we approach thy throne, Lord, with all the honor, the glory, the praise, and the thanksgiving that you alone, who has been faithful, who has been amazing, who has been so patient, and who has been so gracious and good in our homes, Lord, in our lives, in every area and desire. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for putting the enemy to shame over our lives, Lord. Thank you for coming through, Lord. Thank you for always keeping your covenant and for proving that you are God who never changes nor lies. Thank you, Lord, for being faithful in our lives, in our homes, and in our children. Thank you for being the God of truth. Thank you for being the one who is still sitting on that throne, keeping your covenant, keeping your word, allowing what comes forth for us. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for fighting every battle that the enemy has waged against us. Thank you for putting out every evil fire, Lord, that was burning at the cost of our destruction, at the cost of our demise. Thank you for the victory, Lord. Lord. Thank you for every persecution. For Father, you said, Blessed are those that are persecuted in your name, Lord. For their reward is in heaven, and we should be greatly happy and humble to be persecuted in your name, Lord. For when Jesus was persecuted here on the earth, Lord, he received eternal life. So blessed are we, those who believe and trust in the Son of the living God. Father, we thank you. We thank you for never failing, for never slumbering, for never giving up on us, for never letting us down, for never ever leaving us alone, for not allowing us to walk alone in this evil world, for being the light in every dark room, for being the armor and the anchor of our lives and our souls. Father, we bless you. We magnify your name, Jesus. We just want to exhort you on this day. We surrender ourselves to you. We give our lives to you, God. And we are so appreciative, Jehovah Jireh, for all your good graces, for all your good messes, for all your kindness and your love towards us, our children and in our home, for making sure that every prayer is answered, God, for making sure that no weapon fashioned against us has prevailed or prospered. Father, we are so grateful. 
we are so thankful Jesus we surrender this day and we surrender everything attached to us Lord as your daughters and sons as your people that you have created fiercely and wonderfully in your image we give it all to you Lord have your way let this day be the day that Father we get to manifest with the power of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit in us that we, we show others that God liveth in us Lord in, in not trying to prove but actually living, Lord. For we do not have to prove, but we have to live according to your righteousness, your standard, Lord, your love, your will, and your purpose. God, we bless you. We thank you. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we are so grateful and thankful. Jehovah Nisi, just like Saul, we are asking that you deliver us, Lord. Deliver us that we might we might be set free and not die in sin, Lord. Help us, Jehovah Nisi. We repent, Lord. We do not want to hold on to the things of this world and the ways of this world. Help us, Father my God, to stay repentant, Lord. To stay consecrated and focused in your glory, your will, and your purpose, Jehovah Nisi. To meditate upon your word and to live in that word and to be in the word itself. Jehovah Nisi, we are asking that you set us free, Lord, from putting our hand Lord. We repent from everything where we have put our hands in that is not godly. We repent for putting our hands in evil in evil thoughts, in, in slander, in backbiting, in gossip. We repent, Father, from all evil ways that are not pleasing to you. We repent, Lord, as so supposed to repent. We repent as Jehovah Nisi. We do not want to die in sins. We do not want to visit mediums or witches. We do not want to predict our own future. We do not want to be speaking Father my God and saying believing the power of destiny. We do not want to believe in the third eye Lord. We do not want to believe in astral projection Lord. We refuse to put our lives and our hands in the works of darkness. We ask instead that Father you show us the right path, the righteous path, the path that we are to go, the path that we are to follow, the path and the ways that we are to live according to your commandments, according to your word, your precepts and your will Father my God. Lord we bless you on this day. Jehovah Nisi, I ask me personally as your daughter, Father, the, the, the torment of people always telling me that I should look neat, that I should look better. I ask that I will never forget that what you have taught me to do because you are not a God of confusion. They come in my life, they tell me that I should look neat, that this is not how a woman of God is supposed to be. But God, you are the one who sent me and told me exactly how I look. And I know that you are not a God of confusion. So Father, I pray that you give me grace and strength that even when I'm angry, I will cry unto you, Lord, but I will not go back to the ways of dressing up and living a life that is fake. Jehovah needs you, my God, you know that I'm not suffering from clothes. Father, you would never send me a woman who has less than me to tell me how to look or how to dress because God, you are a God of order and God of truth. Lord, you yourself know when it comes to clothing, your daughter don't suffer. It is because I am not living of this world and for this world, Father my God. I am not of this world and I'm, I do not belong to this evil world. And Father, you told me that if I had to change my appearance to prove Jesus in me, how many people at the altar are standing there that do not have Jesus but have dressed the right way that people like. Father, give me the grace as your apostle as they don't believe an apostle woman, as they don't believe that you have told me to dress like this. Because I know that you, the same very God, you see their mouth when they come to write to me destructiveness. And you are the God who keeps their children. I pray that you have mercy on their little children because, Father, it is only heaps of cases they get for themselves because my Bible tells me that anybody that fights against your agenda shall never see any grace in their life. Lord, I did not have an agenda. The only thing I have is an assignment for the kingdom of God. And four years ago, you told me, can you be a vision of the woman that I love and show the whole entire world? And I remember you told me that it was going to be hard and difficult. And you are sending me to a stubborn, ruthless, evil, demonic, Jezebelic generation. But I should not wither or shake. I speak it in front of you, Lord, so all of them also will hear, not with manipulation or threats. But asking, Lord, as your daughter, because a lot of women insult me so much, Lord. And as your daughter, before you, I cannot lie. It hurts me so deep because they pass me like I am not human. 
And Lord, if I was selling anything that this world sells, they would cross and come and stand next to me. But I am not selling. I am a living testimony, a temple and vessel, sacrifice, living sacrifice and temple of Jesus Christ on the earth, walking amongst men, proclaiming, being the good news and the gospel and telling it to the world. For it is in me, for you are in me, God. So Lord, I pray for strength. I pray for grace. I pray for wisdom. And I pray for endurance. And I pray that I will not give up. And I pray that you will help me no matter what they say about me online. I pray, Lord, that the devil will never put me into destruction or disparateness. For God, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And Lord, if it was about clean Jehovah Jireh, who is always there with me, the moment I brush my teeth, I bath, I, I, I cream myself, I know that, God, you are there. And I hear you, Holy Spirit, when you dress me so that they can come and laugh at me. But let's see, Lord, how many of them, Lord, have dressed themselves outside so much, but they will never meet you and see the light of heaven and the kingdom of heaven. God, I do not want to be a fool to dress up to live for this world and miss your kingdom. It is not worth it, Lord. For at the end of this journey, I should prepare my righteousness in me that you'll be able to judge the works in me. I should not be able to prepare my appearance because my appearance, Lord, was nothing that I self could do. Before I was even formed in my mother's womb, you chose every piece of me and you created me fearfully and wonderfully. And Lord, I know we are living in a generation where peer pressure and fake life is so easy. God, give me the grace to never ever be desperate, to never ever go back to fake life, to never ever open those clothes in my house and start dressing up for who and for what. And the way I dress, Lord, you told me is not naked. It's beautiful. It pleases you in your eyes. And that every woman that speaks rubbish to me gets to come and meet you because now me be your daughter, now you be the same God. They come to ask for everything. So God, I pray for strength. And I pray for mercy for people that want to ruin motivation of others in Christ. For we are the body of Christ that has dressed itself. Jezebel, prostitutes, hoes, and thoughts are standing at the altar, Lord, as I speak right now. And because they have all dressed well, well. That's why this generation is lost. Father, you said we should not prepare our outer appearance and looking like the, the Israelites that were fighting with Moses. But instead, that we should render ourselves. Father, if it is rendering ourselves, I want to prove the devil that God, when you said a woman should be modest, you never had anything to do with the things of this world but according to your righteousness and your truth. So God, I bless you. And as I start this day, God, I pray for strength. I pray for wisdom. I pray for knowledge. I pray for your will and your purpose. And I pray that you have your way and that you let your will be done. And that you keep being the louder voice amongst every other voice that speaketh. And that you keep being the bright light amongst all the dim lamp evoric lights that are waking out here of destruction that the lamp of God shall shine bright more than any other light will ever shine in me, around me and everything about me in Jesus' name Father as I go in for work I pray that you give me the grace, the knowledge and the strength to do my job right I come against anybody that comes with spirit of destruction and moods Father, whatever evil spirit that is not good towards me, irritated by your presence in me, shall not overpower me. Instead, it shall be silenced if it cannot be around me. It shall cease, Father, my God. Cease and dismiss. For I will not move until you say I move. I will not fear, for you are with me and in me. God, I pray that you go before me and come back with me and that you protect my family and that you have your way upon this day. And I cover all my brothers and sisters. And I pray, Lord, that you will give all of us, especially women, strength.
to listen to you and not to the world. Because when I look around, it is other women, Lord, who want other women to lose their sight and relationship with you because of what they want them to be, not what you want them to be. So God, I bless you. I worship you and I glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God, have your way. And even today, let the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit of God in me, the Word of God, shine. And let the love of God in me be shared with somebody again today. In Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God. Amen. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, let me start. But before I leave, two minutes. I just woke up. I was waking up this morning. I woke up and I to also woke up. So I was really enjoying this morning with my little man. And he went to the Baba and went for the food. The thing I want to say is that I won't lie. I'll talk about it this afternoon because I don't have a lot of time for work. But I was very angry and sad this morning. I had to cry a little bit to God because I don't understand a lot of you women saying, we really want to support you, but your appearance dis discourages us. Every woman that talks about my appearance in a way that God doesn't speak of it. May God bless your children. I mean it with my life. May God, the God of Abraham, make your children know that he's God. And why I say children, that's what you love the most. And you know why I do that? It's not vengeance. Because even me, my children, I am what they love the most because God has blessed them. It's a shame that people have to lie and pretend. If a lot of you are saying that I should look this and that, I should do this and that for, for, for you people to believe that I've got Jesus in me. My question to all of you is how many people are standing at the altar in church that do not have Jesus but put on the right clothes and they are manifesting lies? You will not change me. I will show this generation that the God that you people received is a God of lies. Because when you come to God, there will never be a God of confusion. Because if you knew what God told me, you would have not even thought of saying your appearance. And ask yourself within your heart, what is wrong with my appearance? Because I shower. I take care of myself better than some of you women. What is wrong with my appearance? And answer yourself that question. And then answer one last question. Do you think God gave you the grace to come and speak to me about my appearance? When is him, God, who told me and who dresses me? Some of you, I really had to cry. I felt sorry. Because you really live for this world and you're in the flesh. It's better off if you do not know God and keep quiet. But to go to his anointed one where his mission is in, to try and distract him. Uh, I really felt sad because I told God, I said, looking neat is makeup. Because when it comes to clothes, what's wrong with my clothes? Okay. May you all have a blessed day. I won't lie, we'll talk about it later on. May God bless all of you. Bye bye. I love you.